classic Assiniboine Park Zoo exhibit has been reimagined and is once again a big hit with visitors. Here now to chat about the history of Aunt Sally's farm and how the brand new version is keeping the spirit alive is Laura Kayback with the Assiniboine Park Conservancy. Thank you so much for joining me. You're welcome. So tell me a little bit about what Aunt Sally's farm is. So Aunt Sally's Farm is a really uh, fun, cheerful, and delightful uh, new exhibit at Assiniboine Park Zoo. It is inspired by uh, an exhibit that was part of our past that opened in 1959. The original Aunt Sally's Farm was at the zoo for about 30 years and was probably one of the most beloved and favorite um, exhibits uh, when, we ask, when we ask visitors about their memories of the zoo. Is that a big part of why the zoo decided to bring it back? We have been going through about a decade of change at the Assiniboine Park Zoo, so people will be most familiar with the new Journey to Churchill exhibit, but there's been many, many other improvements that have been made over the past 10 years. And part of that uh, redevelopment plan included plans for an exhibit like this. So as those plans uh, got fully developed and envisioned, uh, there was a lot of talk about it being uh, an exhibit inspired by the original Aunt Sally's farm. And we had many discussions about whether we should actually name it in honor of that original exhibit. And we finally just got to the point that said, you know what, this was an important part of our past. It's a really beloved exhibit. It's not exactly the same as the old one. Um, you know, the zoos and our zoo and the zoo um, community and industry have changed a lot over those decades. But uh, we really felt that it will, it has the same charm, it has many of the same animals, and we thought it was a great way to honor that, that history. So what exactly is different from the original one? The main difference is that the new exhibit has been designed to meet modern standards for animal care and animal welfare. So the old Aunt Sally's farm was a petting zoo. The modern and new version of the exhibit is not a petting zoo. But what I will say is there are, through unique design, there are other ways that the visitors can uh, make connections and interact with the animals. A, a good example of that is what we call parallel playgrounds. So goats are the star attraction of the new Aunt Sally's farm. I think there's 17 goats, three different species. They're very fun, they're very playful, they're very curious, and they love to climb. So in their habitats, we have these neat little playgrounds, colorful playgrounds, things they can climb, these bridges that go over pathways. And on the other side of their habitat, where the people are, we have playgrounds for children. So um, our youngest zoo visitors can enjoy these little climbing structures and maybe mimic or watch the goats doing the same thing on the other side. What exactly does it bring having something like this at the zoo? You know, I think uh, education and connecting people to animals is also an important part of connecting them to animals in the wild and conservation. In much of what we do in our interpretive signage, in our education programming, we're always looking for ways to connect people with nature in a way that inspires them to conserve it. And that includes Aunt Sally's Farm. So the interpretive signage in Aunt Sally's Farm has a focus on sustainable agriculture practices, but even just the ability to connect um, uh, visitors, especially our youngest zoo visitors with really engaging animals, is an opportunity to then tell them a story, to help them care about animals, goats, llamas, or polar bears. And hopefully that inspires them to learn about ways that they can reduce their impact on the environment and help protect wild animals and wild spaces. What kind of feedback have you been getting from patrons who've seen it? The, the feedback since since opening has been really great. We were hoping that, you know, of course, that we would meet all of those expectations that people have, knowing that for some people, the memories of the original exhibit are really strong and meaningful. And uh, from the feedback we're hearing that it has, people understand why it's not exactly the same. Um, but the bottom line is the animals there are really uh, fun to watch. The, the goats are really playful. The llamas are really interesting. We have two pot or three pot belly pigs. And then in a neighboring habitat, we have um, uh, donkeys and miniature horses, you know, so it's just a really nice exhibit and people seem to be really enjoying it.